the countertops. Yes, this has really been handy, this bar. We sit at this a lot and eat. And the Granite Technical Institute principal, Devin Hartley, is following up on some of his students' homework. Cabinetry, the, is that a naughty alder? The students and their teachers from the GTI built this house. When it was completed, Laurel Stewart fell in love with the home and bought it. I was attracted to this home because it was all new. It had an attached garage. Uh, Granite School District made me a really good deal on it. After moving in, Laurel asked the Granite Technical Institute students to come back and finish the basement. Well, I kind of uh, had qualms myself about students finishing off, but once I was here and dealing with them, there wasn't any problems. You know, they were just all really nice kids, like students, and there was always uh, at least one instructor, if not two instructors here with them. And they were doing it for a grade, too, so they, they did an excellent job. So I have no qualms about it at all now. I think they really do better than a lot of contractors do. The classroom for Granite Technical Institute's construction students is anywhere a building or remodeling project takes them. At this construction site and others, they will receive comprehensive construction experience under the supervision of licensed contractors. While each student will get his or her hands on carpentry, electrical, and plumbing work, this is a gateway to learning and specializing in a trade of their choice, such as management, building, or remodeling in residential or commercial construction. The reason why I got into this program is just because I like working with my hands. I like just building stuff. I was a kid playing with the Legos and whatnot, and just building stuff. It always looked like fun. I did always a little bit of small jobs here and there, but I just wanted to get the whole picture of it and how to build something from bottom up and just go. That's why. Well, we're building relos uh, for the schools around the district. And uh, yeah, that's really good, and they're really nice, actually. Like we've done a pretty good job, I would say. Like the other one that we had done right over here, we took it away. It looked pretty good. It went over to Evergreen. I like it because like it's a class. I come here and I hands-on. It's not like sitting in class doing paperwork all day or just getting told how to do it. It's like you're actually doing it. Dave Smith teaches commercial carpentry in the Granite Technical Institute. On this day, he is overseeing and tutoring students who are constructing a modular classroom for one of Granite District schools. A lot of them go to college, but they, you know, they'll get a part-time job working construction to help pay their college. I mean, they, they can go home and finish their basement for their parents. Uh, if they want to buy a home, they're able to, they know what's involved in a home, to build a home, to remodel a home, to fix a home up. I don't think all the kids go into the trade, but I think they leave here with, you know, a basic knowledge of what the trade is about. And if they learn that this trade is something that they don't want to do, that's a good thing too. It's a win-win situation for these students that take this class. In addition to carpentry, students will get their feet wet wrestling with real plumbing challenges. There's a screwdriver slot. I need you to loosen that screw out of there. And they learn the math and science behind wiring a house to building code. In this situation, the way it was wired previously, it was easier to just send the power over on the white and then back on the travelers. Here students get to put principal into practice every day, and it pays off. I worked with an electrical company for a year and I never really learned anything, but GTI, they let you do hands-on stuff. And... There's a lot of adva advantages for the students. I mean, the first thing they learn is how to work. Hopefully I'm teaching them to, to work hard and to uh, you know, be a valuable employee someday.